In the morning of July the 3rd, 1988, 274 passengers, 14 crew members and 2 pilots board an Airbus A300 aircraft for a scheduled passenger flight to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. The flight, operating as Iran Air Flight 655, is scheduled to depart at Bandar Abbas at 9.50 am local time. Four years prior to the departure of Flight 655 in 1984, unable to launch successful ground attacks against Iran, Iraq uses their now expanded air force to carry out strategic bombing against Iranian shipping, economic targets and cities to damage Iran's economy and morale. The war between Iraq and Iran expands to include air attacks against oil tankers and merchant shipping of neighboring countries some of whom are providing aid to Iraq by shipping Iraqi oil. In 1987, the Iraqi Air Force attacks on the US Navy guided missile frigate, the USS Stark. At least one American sailor is reported dead tonight after an Iraqi jet fighter fired on a US frigate in the Persian Gulf. At the time of the attack, the Stark was located about 70 miles northeast of Bahrain. The ship at last report was dead in the water and the entire crew was being taken off. There have been serious casualties. US naval forces also exchanged gunfire with Iranian gunboats in late 1987 and the guided missile frigate USS Samuel B. Roberts struck an Iranian sea mine in April 1988. In May of the same year, the US engages in Operation Praying Mantis, resulting in the sinkings of the Iranian frigate Sahand, the Iranian fast attack craft Joshin, and three Iranian speedboats. Also, the Iranian frigate Sabalan is crippled, two Iranian platforms are destroyed, and an Iranian fighter is damaged. Tensions are therefore high in the Strait of Hormuz at this time. In response to the pattern of attacks on shipping, the US Joint Chiefs of Staff issues a notice to airmen on September 8, 1987, warning all Persian Gulf countries that civilian aircraft must monitor the 1-2-1.5 MHz very high frequency international air distress or the 243.0 MHz ultra high frequency military air distress and be prepared to identify themselves to US Navy ships and state their intentions. On April 29, 1988, the US expands the scope of its Navy's protection to all friendly neutral shipping in the Persian Gulf outside declared exclusion zones. At about the same time, the USS Vincennes is rushed to the area on a short notice deployment to compensate for the lack of airborne early warning and control coverage, which was hampering US monitoring of the southern Persian Gulf. The Vincennes departs San Diego on April 25, 1988, and arrives in Bahrain on May 29. The US has become the chief watchdog of the Gulf. Over 30 US ships are now protecting tankers in the area. On the morning of July the 3rd, 1988, the USS Vincennes is passing through the Strait of Hormuz, returning from the escort duty. A helicopter deployed from the ship receives small arms fire from Iranian patrol vessels as it observes from high altitude. As a result, the Vincennes moves to engage the Iranian vessels in the course of which they all violate Omani waters and leave after being challenged and ordered to leave by a Royal Navy of Oman warship. The Vincennes then purses the Iranian gunboats, entering Iranian territorial waters to open fire. Two other US Navy ships, the USS Sides and the USS Elmer Montgomery, are nearby. Meanwhile, some 87 kilometers away, at Bandar Abbas International Airport, Iran Air Flight 655 is now ready for its routine 28 minutes flight across the Strait of Hormuz to Dubai. The aircraft operating as Flight 655 is a six year old Airbus A300 with registration Echo, Papa, India, Bravo uniform. In command is 37 year old Captain Mohsen Rasein, a veteran pilot with 7,000 hours of flight time. 31-year-old First Officer Kamrat Mori and 33-year-old Flight Engineer Mohammed Reza Amini are also on board in the flight deck. At 
10.17 a.m. local time, flight 655 takes off, 27 minutes after its scheduled departure time. After takeoff, air traffic control directs the aircraft to turn on its transponder. The flight crew complies and the aircraft proceeds over the Persian Gulf. The flight is assigned routinely to Commercial Air Corridor Ember 59, a 20-mile wide lane on a direct line to Dubai Airport. Within seconds of liftoff, the Vincennes detects Flight 655. However, sophisticated as its radar is, it cannot determine the size or type of aircraft. The identification supervisor begins a routine to establish whether the aircraft is a friend or foe. His first step is to use a system called IFF or Identification Friend or Foe. The identification supervisor sets out to identify the IFF signal of the incoming aircraft. At a press of a button, an electronic pulse radiates into the atmosphere. An aircraft transponders automatically bounce back an electronic reply, squawking the signature mode in codes that reveal whether the aircraft is a friend or foe. Modes 1, 2 and 4 indicate military aircraft. Iran Air Flight 655 is transmitting Squawk Mode 3, the correct transponder squawk code typical of a civilian aircraft. Since a military aircraft could hide its identity by squawking Mode 3, the identification supervisor consults a commercial air schedule to see if there is a passenger flight due to depart from Bandar Abbas Airport at this time. However, he finds nothing, and so he tries to contact the aircraft directly on a military distress frequency. There is no response from Flight 655. Minutes later, the Vincennes receives a short IFF Mode 2 signal from Flight 655, possibly leading the crew of the Vincennes to believe the airliner is an Iranian F-14 Tomcat, capable of carrying unguided bombs since 1985. A total of 10 attempts are made to warn the approaching A300, 7 on the military air distress frequency and 3 on the civilian emergency frequency. The Airbus A300, however, is not equipped to pick up military frequencies and the messages on the civilian emergency channel could have been directed at any aircraft. As a result, there is no response from Flight 655. After receiving no response to multiple radio challenges, the Vincennes fires two SM-2MR surface-to-air missiles, one of which hits the Airbus A300 at 10.24 am. At the time the missiles are launched, the Vincennes is located here, placing it within the 12-mile limit of Iranian territorial seas. The plane disintegrates immediately and crashes into the water shortly thereafter. Thank you.